welcome back to In Focus. I'm Lenore Moudou. As we've mentioned, the International AIDS Conference is underway here in Washington. And today we have two special guests with us in the studio. First, we have Dr. R.J. Simons, Vice President of Program Innovation and Policy at the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation. And we also have with us Florence Ngobeni Allen, an HIV AIDS educator and counselor and a longtime ambassador for the foundation. Ms. Ngobeni Allen is also native of Johannesburg, South Africa. We are pleased to have both of you join us today. Thank you. Thank you. Let me start with you, Dr. Simons. Uh, can you please tell us, uh, first of all, some of the challenges that children born uh, from a mother with HIV AIDS uh, face, uh, some of the health challenges? Well, th thank you very much for asking, because uh, sometimes children are forgotten in the discussion of the AIDS epidemic. And children do have unique uh, problems, and we also have unique solutions for children. First of all, we're, we're, we're able now to prevent transmission to children. So our, per, our first focus is to try to do that uh, by giving drugs to mothers during pregnancy and, 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 and during the breastfeeding period. The reason is because children have very special um, aspects of, of AIDS. They get sicker faster. Uh, we, we have to use different types of medications. Uh, the, the virus is affecting a growing body, and all of those things make it very important to prevent uh, transmission to babies and to treat them early. Okay, and uh, we're going to get more into that later, but let me come to you, Florence. Uh, may I call you Florence? Yes. yes. <laughs> Great. And you, um, you, you, you are HIV positive, and in 1996, actually, you had a baby who passed away, unfortunately, uh, after five months. Uh, can you tell us about this experience? Well, thank you for having me. Uh, thank you, Leah. Yes, uh, about 1996, I had a lovely daughter called Numtunzi, and she was uh, very sick, coughing and continuously coughing. So I took her to the doctor, and at the clinic, they uh, tested her for HIV. And that's how I find out I was HIV positive. Uh, ever since then, it's been a struggle, but also there's been a lot that has been achieved through my struggle with HIV AIDS. She was lost at uh, five months old. That sounds uh, really, really terrible. Now, Dr. Simons, uh, 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 an experience like Florence's experience, what does, what does it teach us, uh, it teaches us in, in, term of, in terms of uh, the need for testing uh, pregnant women? Whether, does it mean that all pregnant women should get tested? Yeah, the, the only way that we're going to be able to stop babies from becoming infected is by identifying uh, as early as possible the, the, the mothers who have HIV infected infection when they're pregnant. So by, by identifying mothers and helping them to adjust to their illness, uh, explaining what is necessary to keep the child from becoming infected, that's, that's the key to uh, uh, being able to stop transmission to their children. Now tell us about uh, the, some of the treatments uh, that are used or, or the specific treatment that is used to, to prevent uh, mother-to-child transmission. Uh, w what is available out there? Yes, the main, the main approach that we have uh, is to provide antiretroviral drugs. These are the drugs that people with HIV infection can take in order to treat their infection infection and to stay healthy. These same drugs uh, are, are used by HIV infected pregnant women to prevent transmission to their child. So not only can the drugs help the mothers uh, to stay healthy, but, but the same drugs taken at the same time can help their children uh, from becoming infected. And not just during pregnancy and delivery, but also during the breastfeeding period where children continue to be at risk by the mothers taking these drugs during pregnancy, they can reduce the chance that the child would become infected. And Florence, this is an experience that you, you went through afterwards because now you have healthy, healthy babies. Yes. Tell us about your, your baby. I saw the picture, so beautiful. Well, after losing my daughter and my husband, I was uh, remarried. Um, and 10 years later, after I had lost my daughter, we were blessed with a baby boy who's turning six this Wednesday, who's HIV negative because of the drugs that Dr. Simmons is talking about. And uh, we were blessed again 18 months ago with another boy. So I've got two lovely boys who've tested HIV negative. But it wouldn't be possible if we didn't have programs that are there 
to be given to women to test before they're 12, months, uh, 12 weeks pregnant and to test again when they're at least uh, before 30 weeks, 32 weeks pregnant. Because during that time, if they're infected, they get infected, there's a more likelihood that they can pass the virus to their baby. So I was lucky enough to receive all those interventions plus the treatment to have HIV negative children. Now, uh, quickly, what message do you share with some of your patients? Because you are a counselor as well. Yes, I think the best, the first thing is to know your status. Uh, and it goes a long way. Know your status at the same time before you want to have a baby. Consult your doctor and talk about the interventions that you need to receive. You also need to take medication and so you need to have an undetectable viral load so that you shouldn't be, uh, when you're taking a medication, you're not passing the virus to the baby. The other thing that helps a lot is to know that you can breastfeed your child as well, as long as you're taking this treatment very well. So okay. there are lots of things that can be done now. And Dr. Simons, in 30 seconds, what do you see as the way forward to tackle this issue and to see improvement, or more improvement in the future? Yes, thanks. I think we have, the, the good news is we have the tools to do it. And Florence nicely explained uh, how that works on an individual uh, woman basis. What we need to do is make these uh, uh, approaches available to all pregnant women, to, to, to get the uh, support from communities, to build the public health systems to be able to deliver these uh, to all women, uh, and to uh, continue to keep, uh, have the system work with such that the women can stay in care and can continue to get the care they need throughout their lives. Oh, wonderful, Dr. Simmons. Thank you so much. Florence, thank you, and uh, thank you. Uh, have a good time at the conference, and I hope you have a very helpful, fruitful time here in thank Washington. You. Thank, yeah, you thank, you, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. And our thanks to Dr. R.J. Simons, Vice President of Program Innovation and Policy at the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation, and to Florence Ngobeni Allen, an HIV AIDS educator and counselor and ambassador for the foundation. Well, that's our Africa Health Network report for today. For more health news and developments, be sure to visit our website at africahealthnetwork.com.